Electric Circus Festival of Edition 2012. I'm Wayne the Circus Strongman, and I'm here with the man, the legend, George Capignalis. Thank hey, you. George. Good seeing you, Wayne. <laughs> He's strong too. Wow. <laughs> that hurt. Now, George, look, we're here at the, uh, at the Arca Bar, yeah. top of the Arc. Uh, here we Comicus are. Comicus Erectus. Comicus Erectus, a grab a granny. Um, <laughs> two uh, kind of things that go well together, Erectus and grannies, uh, here at the Arca Bar. That's where it all happens. Well, it is. But the other thing that happens here is great comedy. Yes. You know, not only with our show, but this is a venue that, that, that you know, that they have as a, a regular room here it in is. Adelaide. It is. The Arca Bar Ha Ha. Yeah. I have to admit, I'm a regular here. Uh, yeah. Craig Egan and his crew, uh, every Tuesday night, uh, they have long here, but look, we're not here to talk about uh, about that. That's we're here right. to talk about Comic Erectus. You're two to four. Comicus. Two to four. Let's get it right. Comicus Erectus. Okay. Some people awesome. say it's about. Some guy came up to me here at the sports bar and said, "Oh, I can't wait to see Trevor in the nude." So he thought it was like puppetry of the penis with wogs. <laughs> um, I said, "No, Comicus Erectus. It's kind of it's woggy or Latin for stand-up comedy. So Comicus is comedy. Comicus Erectus. Erectus is stand-up, oh, stand-up comedy, and that's why we've picked the evolution kind of theme." Yes, but mate, look, I tell you what, it's, it must be having some effect because that's a packed room upstairs. Yeah, well, I think we've broken our record. If we include um, all three shows that I've done with Joe Vardy as a producer, um, yeah. as part of our working uh, genre, uh, Il Dago and then Il Dago 2, and now Comicus Erectus, this has been the most successful up to now. So uh, the audience is growing for us, which is great. Fantastic. And I, I know that uh, you were saying before the vibe in the room was great. I know you were getting an incredible reaction for your set. Uh, you, you, you absolutely killed, obviously. I mean, and look, I have to admit, to my shame, it's the first time I've actually uh, seen you, uh, seen you live. Yeah. And uh, mate, I fell about. I oh, good. I'm about. glad. It was, it I'm was glad. fantastic. Uh, I love the. Uh, I loved when you came out as your auntie. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, but that was my auntie. That, was that actually auntie. was my auntie. It oh, wasn't okay. me. It was my auntie. <laughs> <laughs> was my auntie. And then she showed the bit where I'd get undressed. And yeah, yeah, me. Apart from that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you're the strong man, that was my auntie. That was your auntie. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I loved it. People love her. Yeah. Lady Yaya, we call her. Her name's Eleftheria, but Lady Yaya. Yeah. We now call her, because uh, she loves Lady Gaga. Sure. And she does a couple of Lady Gaga-esque tunes. So, um, yeah, I wanted to come out. I want to do a show called Lady Yaya and get her to come out mm. with, like, a meat suit. Mm. That'd be... Because you're quite the consummate musician, aren't you? Yeah, there's, uh, there's always music in, in, in my shows. I like to include music because uh, you know, I've been playing in bands for a long time as well. Mm. That's part of my, the things that I've done for the last 27 years as yeah. a professional uh, performer. And um, yeah, I always include, and as you can see at the end of the show, we add a, a medley as well. Yes. A, uh, a Comicus Erectus uh, big, big grand finale. People love that. Mm. They should love it. Well, well, so they should. I say so you, you had uh, you had music with your aunt. She came yeah, out. Yeah. You uh, you sang a, a fantastic song about uh, all the culinary delights from Guja. That's right. That's the uh, the food song. Yes, <laughs> it'll do the food song. Or if and I did I did one about the Queen as well. And the Queen, yes, yeah. yes, of course. A bit of Queen for the Queen. Well, why not? I mean, yeah, you've got to get the Queen in there somewhere. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah well, you've got to get her in. It's <laughs> the Diamond Jubilee, isn't it? Yeah. Something. Yeah. But how did the show come about, George? What uh, what was the uh, what was the roots of it? Well, look, where I was trying to reinvent.